All right, today I'm gonna give you three tips on how to improve your volley, so stay with me. What's up everyone? Uh, Karu here from my tennis HQ. I uh, hope everyone is doing great. Courts are finally open, which is amazing. Uh, it's great to hit some balls again. And today I wanna share with you guys three tips on how to be more successful at the net. This is not a video about technique per se. I'm not gonna try to show you precisely how to hit volleys, but I want you to, I wanna talk a little bit more about the instincts. I think volleys can be very complicated, but very simple at the same time. Like you can, you can simplify what you do at the net. Even if you don't have the best volleys, you can still be effective up there. And I wanna, wanna share, share these three tips that I think when I'm playing that really helped me uh, become better at the net. Not because I became, I developed my volleys that much better, but because I understood how to be at the net a little bit better. Um, so let's get to it. All right, so here's my first tip. It actually doesn't involve volleying at all. First thing you gotta do better, probably is hitting your approach shots a little bit deeper, okay? so. When I'm trying to go to the net, my goal isn't necessarily just to hit hard, but it's to hit deep. Because if I hit deep, I'm gonna be pushing my opponent back. By pushing them back, they're gonna be hitting from further away from the court, and you're gonna have more time to close into the net. You're gonna have more time, uh, as they hit the ball, uh, the ball is gonna travel longer, and you can actually close the net better. So next time you, you, you're training your approach shots, um, you, you obviously, oh, you always gotta be a little bit step ahead. Don't just think like, I need to improve my volleys. Well, you gotta improve what you're doing before uh, you get to the net, and that's the approach shot. So if you hit your approach shot deeper, again, uh, pushing your opponent back, you're gonna have a much better chance of one, getting closer to the net, and two, closing a little bit harder from the time they hit the ball. Um, so. Again, we actually have a video on how to hit better approach shots, so we'll link that uh, below. But yes, just kind of keep that in mind, just making sure that you're not only focusing on power or just taking the, the time away and all those things, focus on hitting a nice, clean, deep shot. It's probably going down the line, down the line is usually the best shot, but again, matches play differently, we can't just necessarily just set, like to only go down the line. Um, you, you gotta feel uh, the match a little bit better, but if you can hit the ball deeper, again, pushing the opponent further back into the court, it's gonna be much easier for you to close the net and then be more effective with your volley. So that's tip number one. All right, so here's just some quick footage of our video on how to improve your approach shots, which we'll link down below. But yes, if you pay attention, I'm really working on getting more depth than necessarily power and pushing my opponent back so which will you know will show a little bit more uh towards the end of the video but you know my goal here is to you know use my body to create more depth uh with my shots and not necessarily just swing hard so make sure you focus on that all right so tip number two once you get to the net have an aggressive mindset. I think a lot of people get to the net and sometimes they're not really, they worry so much about their volley, the technique of their volleys, that they are they don't stay aggressive. They don't, they're not looking for the ball as uh, aggressively as they should. So what I mean by that is, you know, don't stand there after you split step and just kind of freeze and then you have kind of the, the, the coach volley, I say that you're just kind of like here. You've got to be moving forward and trying to cut the angles and go get the ball. So you, you never want to volley just wait, waiting for it. You want to volley moving to the ball. Um, and the, at the net, you you don't have that much time to react, so you need to be proactive about your movement. What I do is with the corner of my eye, I try to time it where, where my opponent is almost touching the ball. He can't change his mind anymore. He probably knows where he's gonna hit it. Um, I pounce forward, and if you see Feather, he does that incredibly well. Sometimes he gets to the net with iffy approaches, but he just pounces forward and he closes the net, it's really hard to pass. So having that mindset that you're really committed at the net, that you're like, okay, it doesn't matter what happened in the approach, really get to the net, and if you can do that where your opponent is about to hit the ball and you just kind of pounce forward a little bit more, uh, you're gonna be able to cover the net a little better. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have higher volleys 
it's gonna be harder to hit to your to your feet and it's gonna really help you just you know have um, cover the net a little bit more that's what's gonna help you do um, so next time you you're at the net try to think that that you're proactively trying to go get the ball and not wait for the ball um, hopefully cutting the angles a bit more diagonally try not to move laterally so much but more diagonally um, and you're gonna just have a better an easier time um, covering the, the net and that's really more important than actually having perfect volleys um, so actually let me show you uh, a little example of this I, I have a video so let's take a look and break it down all right so here's a good example of what i'm talking about after i move my opponent back on the court i really go and get it i don't wait for um, the volley the ball to come to me i go get the ball so like let's pay attention here if we go a little bit slowly um as i'm moving into the court you see that i will split step and at this point you see how i keep pouncing forward and i go diagonally in the direction of the ball which makes my volley much firmer think about as you know if you're but if you're gonna get punched you don't want your body to be way too loose right you want your body to be nice and firm um and this is kind of the same as volleying here you you're trying to like go get the ball and not let the ball punish you okay so make sure as you're you know your split step you can see a wide base on my split step here okay so i have a nice wide base here and then as i move to go volley see i move diagonally into the core and i'm able to make a much more solid contact and a much higher contact you see i'm still kind of like above the net here or maybe just on the same height at the net if i had stayed maybe that ball stayed back maybe that ball would have been uh, a little for a little lower and then it's harder for me to to hit this firm ball next to the other side so if we take a look again let's just you know quickly take a look at this in slow motion you see how i push my opponent back and then here i split step right there i know it's a little further away but you know and then i go and get it you see how the ball right here is still above the little the net or it's a little below the net but still in a good height where i can hit a firm volley okay so make sure you're really pouncing forward and moving to the ball and not really waiting for it because it will make your volleys uh, just more difficult to hit okay so that's tip number two so let's go to tip number three all right so so far we talked about hitting your approach shots a little deeper and being more aggressive at the net be having an aggressive mindset of going and getting the ball now let's talk about where to hit your volleys that's kind of the most important tip today is i don't care how you do it i don't care you know we obviously can don't know how your technique is at the net but i know for a fact that the most effective volley you can hit it's firm and short away from your opponent so if you hit the short let's say forehand down the line and they're hitting a passing shot back end, and you're able to hit your your volley cross court and kind of on the service box but firm where that is moving away from from your opponent that's it they're not gonna get it okay so a great example of that is actually um if you ever watch milos Raonic play um he's not the guy that you think about when you're thinking volleys right he's not the wow i want a volley like milos Raonic but he's incredibly effective at the net. He, he utilizes his big serve to send you out and out in the court each way. And his first volley is typically like very firm, but not that deep on the court because you're already so far away trying to return his serve that that first volley being a little bit short, you're having to run not just this way, but from back here, let's say on the deuce court, all the way to the box on the ed court and it's really hard to get. I know that for a fact because I practiced with him and it was crazy, I just couldn't get it. I would hit a good return, I'm like, oh, I'm there. And nope, couldn't get it, it was way too far. And he does that exceptionally, even though he's not a guy, again, that you think, oh, I want to volley like Milos Raonic, um, he's very effective at doing that. So, you know, making sure, you, obviously you're not able, you're not gonna be able to do it every single time. Some balls, you know, you're 
if your opponent is going to find your feet, you're going to have to volley up a little bit more and all that stuff. But if you do find yourself with a volley, you know, net high or just above the net, it's the best possibility. It's actually the greatest percentage to hit that volley firm, short and away from, from your opponent. That gives you the highest probability of actually winning the point at the net. So next time you're playing, try to think like that, that I'm going to, you know, not just hit my volley to the opposite side, because maybe, you know, if I don't hit a great volley, they might have a chance of passing me, but hitting firm and short, it's going to help you tremendously at, at, you know, hitting, being more effective, winning more points at the net. You're not going to win every point at the net, but if you like going to the net, this will give you a better chance of winning more points. So again, let's take a look at the video that we, we looked before to see where I volleyed and how effective it was. Like there was no chance um, Austin could have gotten to that volley. So let's let's take a look. All right, so here's the example of hitting the volley firm and short and away from your opponent. So let's take a look. I approach deep, I close, and look how that volley was firm and short, giving Austin no chance of running for it. But let's, let's break it down a little bit. So if we go slowly, we'll see that first, my approach shot pushes Austin really fast far back on the court you see how far he is from the baseline which is going to give me more time to get closer to the net right uh, then second as he hits his his passing shot i really pounce forward and try to go get the ball and not wait for it okay so that was tip number two if you guys remember and then number three here firm and short so i'm hitting away austin was here right when he hit his passing shot and i hit my volley there you see how it is landing right on the service line and curving away from austin so pay attention to how far he has to go from this position right here to that position it's a really far run okay so if i make that volley it's the furthest away from him. Now, if we clear all this and we rewind, had I made my volley land around here, if we pay attention, Austin would have been able to actually get there. See, because he started here and he would have just moved this way. And he, we don't know if he was going to pass me, but he would have had a shot at actually continuing the point with the volley I hit in this situation again going back it was so firm and short that he barely bounced he had pretty much no way to get there okay so here's just a quick example obviously you guys can look up online Feder has so many videos of him volleying um, we'll link one down below actually that I think kind of shows that a lot always trying to find and then as a rule, always trying to find, to hit your volley, the furthest away you can from your opponent. Don't try to get too tricky, hit behind them if you if you don't need to. Keep it simple, firm, short to the other side, doesn't even have to be that close to the sideline. You see how I'm hitting it pretty, pretty uh, considerably in the middle of the court. It's not really wide and it was still super effective. So keep that in mind next time you're going to the net. So there you have it. Uh, these are my three tips on how to become more effective at the net. So first, making sure approach shots are, are deeper and pushing your opponent further back on the court. Uh, two, making sure you are staying aggressive when you get to the net. Don't just wait for the ball. You go get the ball. You cut the angle. You're proactive at um, not just you're proactive and not just reacting. Okay. And third, and the most important, firm and short volleys. Keep it simple. Don't try to make it too complicated don't try to uh you know get too fancy with it just firm and short and away from your opponent and you're gonna put away more volleys and i hope this video was helpful again this wasn't a super technical video i'm not here teaching you how to hit these volleys but i'm trying to help you understand the game better um so you, once you're on the court you you see these openings you see the moment to pounce you see the moment to hit a deep approach shot and a firm volley that you're looking for those things. Sometimes we, we get so caught up in technical uh, issues that we forget just to go out and play and go out and try to, you know, do the things that we need to do. So 
Um, we have, I'm going to link down below a video on how to improve your, your approach shots that we already have uh, live on our, on our channel. And if this video is helpful for you, please give it a like and a subscribe that really helps our channel in supporting us, uh, putting out more content. We're trying to, to up our game here on YouTube and, and put more and more content out for you guys. And visit MyTennisHQ.com. We have a new article coming out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we're going to be posting way more here on YouTube and, and follow us on social media uh, at MyTennisHQ on Instagram and at MyTennisHQ uh, underscore on Twitter. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.